gonna get the top. Huh? You gotta get the top though. Yeah. Okay. It's the first step to any pumpkin. pumpkin. I'm gonna end up cutting my hand off. Please don't. Cut yourself a big enough top that you can like actually get into it. Cause I remember last year that was a problem. I'll try. I'm not that funny. Callie to get cold, cold, so uh, Callie's saying goodbye.
mine turned out real good. I went simple, elegant, with a hint of nastiness. Halloween. dog treats and basically I'm just gonna show you guys like I made this recipe before so I know like what goes into it and stuff um, so I have my pumpkin in my bowl already um, it's just the pumpkin that we used from the pumpkin carving and then I believe the recipe said like two and a half cups of flour but this is more pumpkin than the recipe called for the recipe also called for um, canned pumpkin but I use regular pumpkin so we're just gonna start with two and a half cups ish and then these are pumpkin peanut butter so i got my peanut butter here this is actually chunky peanut butter but i mean it's all the same peanut butter in there i mean Ginny likes peanut butter so we're just gonna throw some of that in there and then that was my oven preheating preheat the oven to 350. the recipe calls for two eggs i think i'm gonna do three since i'm like at least doubling this recipe And all this stuff is healthy for dogs. I mean, the peanut butter is not super great for them, um, but it's not bad for them by any means. The eggs are a good source of protein. The flour is completely fine for them. Um, you're supposed to technically, I think, use whole wheat flour, but the regular all-purpose flour is fine too. Um, and then the last step is just to throw in some cinnamon, which is also good. It has like a bunch of antioxidants for them. I'm pretty sure is what the recipe said. And then you're just gonna mix it up and then once this is mixed up we are going to be rolling it out on the table or the counter um, and then using some cute little cookie cutters I didn't have any like cute little Halloween ones um, or like bones or anything and I didn't feel like going out and buying them specifically for this recipe so we're just we're using what we have which is you know it's, it's fine and then the recipe also said like once you get it all mixed up it'll probably be um if you actually followed the recipe and not just like guesstimated things like i did it'll be like 
doughy, like hard. Um, mine is goopy right now. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour. This is what I had to do the other two times, even when I followed the recipe. But I guess the first time I did add like a little bit too much peanut butter. Braided. Just gotta, just gotta go for it, man. Gotta dig in, get your hands dirty. The first time I did this, I had my wedding ring on. <laughs> that was that was fun. It's still looking a little bit goopy, as you can see, it's like sticking in my hands and stuff. So I'm gonna add some more flour, flour on your surface. When I did this previously, I did it in a couple of little batches just because I find that easier, especially since I don't have a lot of space to work with right here. And yeah, now's, now's the fun part. You get to knead it out just like any regular old dough. All right, now we have our dough formed. Just a little bit extra flour, but it's, it's all good. And then I'm just gonna make sure the bottom of this is still nice and floured. Shove her down, flatten her. And then like I said, you can make them any shape you want. Um, my first batch I used a little heart cookie cutter. Um, my second one I do use a heart one and then I tried to make a bone shape just by cutting it. That didn't work out. <laughs> it looked really bad. But I mean, I, they're dogs. I mean, they don't know what things look like that cookie cutter is for you whatever you want it to be or if you're making them for someone else whatever someone else wants them to be I have this little star one that I think I'm gonna use for this one just cuz I think it's cute and then I'm gonna pop her out of there and then I have three little pans over here you can't really see I'll show you in a minute um, with just some parchment paper on them just because washing pans isn't fun and if you use parchment paper, then you don't really have to wash them that much. So, I really don't like the way this star cookie cutter is turning out. Um, I have this diamond one. These are like really old fashioned. My mom gave them to me. But I like them. Oh yeah, those black dots on my arms, that's for my allergy shots. Just by the by. All right, I am going to get these put on my trays and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes and I will see you guys when they are done. All right guys, so it's been about 45 minutes since I put these bad boys in the oven. And here they are, the beautiful babies right here. Just grabbing a oven mitt. Look how nice those are. Beautiful little children here. I already turned my oven off, and this is, this is our result. Came out with some nice, beautiful cookies here. That one got messed up because I've moved it too many times. His leg fell off. Oh, I guess it reattached, which is good. And his head is a little bit wonky, but you know what? That's okay. We don't judge him. And this one, this one got a little bit burnt. I think it was the pan. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's Danny. <laughs> There's Ginny and Angel. Russian Mafia. Alright, you gotta pick a box. Pick a box, pick a box. Random box. Just these? Yeah. What are they? Just pick a box. Nope, nope, don't open it. Just pick a box. Okay, here. That one right there? Yeah. Hold. Alright. This is what you have to do to drink at the party. Open the box. All the way. Oh, it spilled. Okay, I gotta clean that up. You gotta get them out. I ain't doing that. You gotta get them out. I don't like snakes. You gotta get them out. No snakes. You gotta do it. No. You gotta do it. Mm -mm. You can do it. He's not gonna hurt you. Is this the corn snake or the... This is a ball python. He is the most friendly. You got lucky. You picked the most friendly snake that we have. You got it. He's he's looking at me. Yeah, I never wanna get <laughs> We don't drink things like Don Julio, second brothers. I know. Paramedics. Yeah, they got. Yeah, his Happy Halloween from everybody at Church's Cages and Creatures. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and we will see you guys all again next time.